Don't forget to check out my Patreon where we have exclusive content for groups such as Twice, Seventeen, Red Velvet, Black Pink, NCT, Super M, Shiny, AT, Stray Kids, and so much more along with K-dramas, concerts, and other variety shows. Hey guys, Angie here and today we have a Patreon request. I'm really hoping this doesn't get blocked because like, uh, they're just songs, but I don't know how the like, how would I word it, like the Chinese copywriting blocking works like for music so because i don't think i've done any chinese stuff i think it should be fine but we have shunyi uh i think it's a music video a performance in two songs and i actually think these are on patreon i mean patreon um we have done shunyi stuff on patreon that's what i was gonna say her name is betty i forgot her name is betty for the was it Betty Wu? Betty Who? What was her name? I'll just put Shunyi because it usually pops up. Um, I think these ones are on... Yeah, it's Betty Wu. Why didn't it pop up? I think these are on Spotify. This one is... Yeah, they are. Yay! Because um, sometimes they're not, which sucks. But I think all of these are, so that's great. Um... We watched her on Sweet Teeth, two episodes so far. Um, it's more of a casual thing. Um, and we've seen her on Keep Warning, I think two episodes, at least one. So, and of course, some Cosmic Girls stuff that she happened to be in. But let's just hop into the video because I'm very excited because I really liked her voice. We also did a couple performances. Those ones did, did get blocked, but they were performances. And it was like when she cut her hair and it was very beautiful. Um, but let's hop into the video. I think it's my first music video for her. I think we've only seen performances so far. I could be wrong. That's a fit. Oh, she's so beautiful. Oh, I didn't expect this. I don't know what I expected. I love it's her music video and it's a guy in love with her. <laughs> Mood. I kind of love that. Like, that it's... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I did not expect this. His friend is not a wingman, that's for sure. He's like, get out of here, bro. Hey, 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 he didn't accept it. Oh, God. She's beautiful. Ooh. Oh. She's in her little rebellious stage. I'm here for it. You'll never be able to say I love you. Is that what it's getting back? Oh, I like that. Oh, I didn't even check. I don't think there's a bit of the Oh, she looks so different, like, with and without being. I hate- it doesn't have this- like, I don't want to be that person. But putting the AirPod in, like, someone else's ear- like, it doesn't have the same effect as, like, the ones with, like, wire because- There's, like, a reason, though. It's not just because, like, oh, like, it was better back then. It's because the wire forces you to be, like- close to the person it, airpod you can be like i don't know how many feet it is 10 feet away they don't need to be close to you they can walk away <laughs> so it doesn't have that same effect it's not as cute sorry i thought he was putting a tissue in her ear <laughs> i was very confused also when you take one out it pauses
cute. The blue stripes are here. What's wrong with her? <laughs> There's just a giant great love. Oh my god, I hate when people do that. It, it just looks scary. <laughs> they did this, um... I think it was an Extraordinary Heroes music video. It just looks creepy. There's just someone standing on the other side of the tracks like this. That's creepy. That's a horror movie. I'm confused. Did he cheat? Because I thought it was a girl just trying to ask him out. Because, like, that's a thing. I've, I've seen it in, like, different Asian media where, like, you give them a gift and ask them out. Sounds like bribing. <laughs> but whatever. And I didn't see him take it. So I'm confused. Curious. Uh, I loved it. Oh, it's called Don't Love You Anymore. Yeah, okay, I figured. Okay, I'm adding that to the playlist. I'm so glad it's on Spotify. Yes. That's very much my style. Is like credits? Oh, wait. Wait, what? He picked it up. Oh, I see. She dropped it and then he picked it up. That was amazing. birthday party Wow She looks like an angel Is this really her channel? Because I really doubt it. Right, this probably isn't her channel. I think they have different streaming media on in China though. So I don't really take these views too seriously. She looks so pretty. Was this for a concert or like a stage at some show? They have light sticks. I don't think I see this one on here. Oh, there it is. Yeah, so like you can't end it there, right? She just looks like a little fairy. Oh. 
those issues went promptly. That was beautiful. Dang, I wish I could just see more people's comments on that. That was so different from the other song too, but that one was from a different album. So it was like a different vibe for her. This one obviously doesn't have captions, but that's okay. Okay. Yeah, it looks like she's going for a different sound. Okay, this one's cute, but like, groovy. I just gonna add them both to the rest of the songs to the playlist, because I'm probably gonna like them. I can see a music group for this one though. They should do one. I like her cover. It kind of looks like a manga cover. And it's from the music video too. I feel like I might actually listen to this one more because it's more easy listening but you don't need to be in a certain mood for this song I actually really like I think even though I love the other two songs this really suits her voice most I think like this kind of chill relaxed music I like it on her. Okay, I don't know why, but the ending made me even like it more. It was just really smooth and fun. Mm. We have three different moods on this album. Actually, actually, this is like a slower, like slower version of the other one, and I really like these on her. But I liked her rebellious sound too, so no. Oh, that's cool. I'm wondering, are the songs like related? Are they like a story? Mm -hmm. 
Is she like popular in China? I think I was told she was pretty known. Because obviously I know her because of the Cosmic Girls. And I don't know who's famous in China. But I feel like. I don't know what's tr what's a trendy a trendy sound like in Korea ballads or like girl groups are very trendy or like even there's like people who like trot but like in China I only know I mean Jackson Wing is from China but like I don't know if he's big in China um most of his songs are in English so I don't know his status there I know uh my man, my man Coon. My man Coon. Y'all know my man. From his streams, he's decently big on Spotify. Like he ha he has uh, two hundred thousand monthly listeners. I'm probably most of them, <laughs> but like that's on Spotify alone. So I think he's pretty big because wasn't he in some boy group, right? But like. Is Shunyi, is she, like she has a K-drama, or sorry, she has a C-drama, she was on Keep Running, she was in a girl group in America, in Korea, I feel like, I, I feel like it's hard to gauge the status of J-stars and C-stars, that's what I'm going to call them, because I don't know what else to call them, C-idols, J-idols, because they're very like, they have their own things going on, their own systems, their own streaming. Because obviously in Korea they have their own streaming too, but they're still on Spotify. So it's hard to gauge, but I think those songs sound pretty trendy to me. I feel like they should be pretty big. So let me know, because I'm very curious if this album did well or not. Um, but I'll see you guys in the next video and I will be streaming. So I'll see you guys whenever if you like... Uh, Cosmic Girls, we're doing stuff for them. So I'll see you guys then. Bye!